Well, it's certainly been a long time since I've been able to come to you by video, and I'm absolutely thrilled to present this today, to be able to get to the studio. See, that's one of the problems. The studio is located upstairs in my home, like 20 steps upstairs. And to put it in context, we're located in Texas. Well, upstairs might as well be in Minnesota as far as getting to. So I'm going to do videos a new way. I won't be able to come to you every day, but I'll number the videos and will be coming as often as we possibly can. Since I came to you last, I've lost 40 pounds. Uh, this has been a surprise. All of my life, I've been big. I've been big as a child on. I literally have not been this small since I came out of the womb. Uh, but uh, I'm thankful. It's, it's uh, something that is good. I remember in Weight Watchers, when I was a member there for, for eons of time, they would always talk about reaching your goal weight. Well, I often joked that I wouldn't reach my goal weight until I'd been dead for five years. And then I wanted to have a gravestone that flashed and lit up and played a song that I had finally reached my goal weight and that I could attend meetings free. I'm sure that when Oprah bought Weight Watchers, this is not the diet she had in mind. I still have six months of treatment ahead of me with chemo because cancer was found in other areas of the body. Am I optimistic? You betcha, because God is with me. And I am going to go forward knowing that with great peace in mind. You know, I've had time during this time to go over past prayer requests and I've noticed how many have been not about present problems, but about something that happened in the past. It could have been one day ago, or it could have been 50 years ago. And yet it still bothered, and it still robbed people of good life. I pray with you today that you're able to release yesterday into the care and the keeping of God, knowing that God's power is ever at work to adjust, to harmonize, and to turn everything into good. You see the past enfolded in the peace of God. You're also able to release tomorrow into God's care and keeping knowing that whatever is before you is going to be something that you'll reach with God at every step. You will see the future enfolded in the help of God, the peace of God, the love of God, and that only good will come to you. The peace of God, I pray that it enfolds in you now. In the present moment, you know that you're in God's care and keeping. It says this in the Bible in Philippians. It says, have no anxiety about anything. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I pray that this is true for you. And I know without a fact, without any doubt, that God's power is unceasing. There is always mightily at work in and through you. And all that concerns you every moment of the day and night, the power of God. And you are immersed in the absolute awareness of well-being and wholeness of God. And you know that all is well. And when you know that, your heart 
rejoices 